Hello and welcome to Office Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to edit or how to modify your products, short description and long description using Elementor. Elementor can be used on long descriptions. For example, let me go to this product, which is the Nintendo Switch. And here is the short description. Uh, I'll show you how to edit this, but not with Elementor, but this description can be uh, changed by uh, Elementor. So uh, first of all, let's add some description to this product uh, normally using edit product. And here is the uh, description section where you can uh, type right away and add your own text and it will be shown immediately on the front end. Uh, but I'll show you later how to edit this with using Elementor and how to design a beautiful page for this product. Uh, not these areas because these are the um, default areas like the short description, title, price, this. Uh, this is uh, another my video. Uh, you can watch uh, one of my other videos which, where I have described how to modify the whole single product page. But in this specific video, I'll show you the description only so here uh, let's edit this let's type something a quick brown fox jumps over lazy dog and let's copy this description and paste it over and over again to make it more visible click on update and let's see it on the front end. And now we have a description tab as well. But you can see that this is just a plain text. You can add uh, the uh, the blocks using um, uh, HTML, custom HTML by uh, going to the text version. But uh, it will be a lot easier if you do that using Elementor. So first of all, you have to go to plugins and click on add new to install Elementor if you do not have it already. I already installed it here, so uh, I'll go to Elementor and settings. After activating the Elementor plugin, you will have to go to Elementor and then the settings page. And there you have to select the post types for which for which the Elementor will be used. So currently, if you can uh, see the products page, then there is just an edit product button, but there is no Elementor uh, edit with Elementor. So here, when you choose the post type, like the products, because uh, the WooCommerce products are uh, custom post type and it's products. So uh, you just have to choose this one and click on save changes. Now if you uh, go to the single page and refresh it, then you will see that there is a new menu called edit with Elementor. But uh, you can still not um, able to do that right away uh, because you have to go to the product section again and edit that product using Elementor by uh, clicking from the product edit page. So click on edit, uh, a normal edit, and then we will uh, choose edit with Elementor, the big button. So that is how it will be appeared here. Or let's just edit this one to uh, show you exactly what's going on here. Okay, now uh, scroll down here and click on edit with Elementor and it will be opened right here in the Elementor editor. And if you uh, go back to the front end, uh, let it load there and we will check this tab. If you go to front end and refresh the page, then uh, you will be able to see that uh, edit with Elementor is there now. Here you can see it's edit with Elementor now. Uh, and if you open the Elementor editor, then uh, it will scroll down uh, right to the description section because these sections, as I mentioned earlier, these are not editable using Elementor right now. Uh, you can only edit the description here. So uh, let's first add some columns. Let's add a single row with, with two columns or with three columns. So we will get this description in the middle. Uh, we can add image here. Let's add a random image just to show you. Click on insert. 
and a random image here let's copy duplicate this section and let's change the image for this one okay this is a square image so let's add a square image here as well because it looks uh, a lot good than the, the right one okay so deadpool images on both sides and let's add a new row with uh, two com two sections let's add a section here and add the text editor and add some text let's expand the current text you can change the text style by going to style tab to the middle or justify and here we will add a rectangular image let's choose the previous one which we just removed from the upper section and let's extend the text more so that it aligns with the image okay now let's update the page and uh, refresh the front end to see if it's working yes elementor page builder is working here and it will only show for this tab only if you go to additional information that you can see there are uh, some other things but description tab have the elementor builder uh, edited here uh, and this is the product page um, I have a plugin a service called import WooCommerce where uh, we can scrap products data from Amazon and get it to WooCommerce like this uh, it gets the high quality images as you can already see that it's a very high quality image um, uh, almost full quality from Amazon and it will uh, get it to the um, gallery your media gallery and all these short description prices all these things are directly from there and it is an affiliate website it, you can build affiliate website as well as you can build a dropship website using that tool so uh, let me quickly show you this is my home page the import WooCommerce which which is a tool uh, where you will have to add your API key your site key uh, and follow you can follow the instruction in the video here uh, build Amazon affiliate website in 15 minutes or build Amazon to WooCommerce affiliate site this is a dropship website and this is an affiliate website so uh, you can use this tool and I hope you learned something from today's video please give this your thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel and you will uh, you can watch all my other videos thank you